Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 19 of my Refugee to Regent Challenge series. And today marks the first day of going after the Stone Hamlet stage. Uh, I am finally done with the wood settlement and can now use stone and in celebration... I have some stone, some cobblestone right here, which I am going to immediately craft into something useful. Uh, a furnace, and I have a few plans lined up uh, right now for some things that I want to accomplish today. But first and foremost, uh, I am going to get some sand cooking because I have one thing that I want to uh, make using uh, almost strictly items from this stage except one one tiny component and i'm going to use the i'm going to invoke the rule of cool for this uh so i can use this item to keep track of the things that i need to do for this stage uh, and i'll show you what that is in a bit but the component that i'm going to use is just simply a single redstone that's it and and that'll that'll be all i'm going to be doing for this stage uh, this is just a single solitary item that will hopefully be able to help me keep things in order a little bit better. Uh, but there are several other things that I need to start working on for this stage, namely some tools. There's the good old axe, the pickaxe, the shovel, the hoe. Uh, let's see here, there's the sword. Um, there's the sickle. That's from Biomes of Plenty. Move that down there. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. Hmm. Oh, well, not from this, I guess. I am going to need an axe head pattern there. So I can make this. I'll need, where is it? A shuffle head pattern. And I'll go ahead and do this. Make a stone tool rod. Go ahead and make another one of these, I guess. Might as well. Oops. Come here. Uh, where'd you go? There it is. And then tool station. Uh oh. I forgot. I need to do something with the rest of those. Oh! Wow! That was a lot of noise all at once. Okay. So, I need a medic. Whoops, wrong part. This, that, and this to get that. Excellent. That's going to be very nice and useful later. Are you done? You're done. So, let's throw in some of this and a coal. Get you burning. What was I doing? Oh, right. I am going to need... Let's see here. I have that. I need... Oops. There's some lag. That's the wrong thing. I need this thing. And I think it's the sword blade or the knife blade. I, I guess I'll go ahead and make both just in case. Oh, wait. Let's not do that. Let's use this. Mm 
And I need to come in here, select that, that there, this here. And it was, it was that. So I have a rapier, which allows you to do the whole back step thing, and it does a whole bunch of really fast damage. So that's nice. Got that taken care of. I guess I can put this in here. All right, and you're done. Excellent. So let's make this. Because you're probably wondering what it is that I'm talking about. I need a glass there, a redstone there, and then stone here to make a single solitary computer. And I will show you what my plan is with that here in just a moment. Just have to get over there. I am going to be putting this on my desk in my office down here. And I am going to be keeping a list of all the different things that I need. Oh, I forgot to bring the road up to the door here. I need to do that. That's one thing that I missed, of course. I added a table and a seat here. So let's put the computer down there. And... In here, I can, um, what do I want to do? Stone Hamlet. And so in here, though this can be used for writing programs, what I'm going to be doing is keeping track of the different things that I'm going to need. Uh, and, and the different materials that I, I'm able to use and uh, also anything that I come across that I think I might be able to use I'll include it in here and just use this as a replacement for a whole bunch of signs I was planning on doing this wall of signs and having like a bunch of green wool and red wool or something so uh, I could have a, a just an at a glance list of stuff that's completed versus not completed but instead of taking up an entire field with this wall of text literally a wall of text uh, I'm just going to access the computer here and that's all this computer is going to be used for nothing fancy nothing special and also I can use it while seated on the seat here that's kind of nice so that's what I'm making. That's my rule of cool invocation here. That's where it ends. There might be something for decoration in the future, but that's it. Um, I do need to go ahead and make the path here, but that will have to wait because I am sort of thinking of upgrading the path to something other than just gravel. Namely, let's get back up to the house here. There is something that I can use now that it is the stone stage that will make for a pretty interesting roadway, or at least a pathway. Let me get back here. I believe I left that one stone in here. Yes. Do that and that. Now just leave that there. Get two of these things called... Oddly enough, paths. Paths look like that. They're just little flat bits of stone and rock jumbled together. And they make for a nice little pathway. So I'm thinking of just using that instead of the gravel for everything. Uh, who knows, it might be cheaper in the long run, especially now that I can start harvesting en masse a bunch of stone uh, much more safely. Speaking of safety, I still don't think it'll be quite safe enough to go down into that uh, that, that not stronghold, the, the whatever, the roguelike dungeon, I think it was what it was called. Uh, I, I still don't think it's safe enough to go down there yet. I'm probably going to have to wait until I can start using iron uh, or some other metal armor for that. But 
Uh, now what I need to do is figure out what I want to, that's not my bedroom, what I want to start working on as far as structures. Uh, there are also a few things that I need to look up to see if I can use them or not on this stage. Uh, and also to see if there are some things in this mod pack that I might be able to use. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll be back and discuss some of the stuff that I need to take care of during this stage. As far as structures and expansion and all that. And uh, in the meantime, I'll be right back. Alright, I have gotten everything committed to this computer terminal uh, that I'm going to need for the uh, current stage. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and save that. Uh, there are... A f uh, basically, I'm, I'm just going to go over the stuff that I, I'm going to need for this stage. And if there's any time at the end of the episode, I'll, I'll try to work on a project. But mostly, today, I'm trying to familiarize myself more with the uh, challenge. Uh, since I began this challenge... Uh, some months back, whenever episode one was, there have been some updates and uh, a few changes and tweaks to the actual challenge itself on on the web page. So some of the stuff that I have uh, written down is changed or obsolete or adjusted or shifted forward or back. And there are some parts of the challenge that are just kind of left blank, basically as if... Uh, there's going to be something there in the future, but there just presently isn't. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be a link, but it's just text. So, I can sort of guess at what might be coming, but until there's a little bit more information, I'm going to kind of leave them alone, unless I feel it is fitting for uh, the, the stuff that I want to have in my capital city or any of my outliers I might have certain themes that I want that I can sort of push the envelope for some of those that's sort of the rule of cool only more predictive anyway uh, basically for this stage obviously I can use stone material uh, any of the stone materials whether it's the the, the granite or, or whatever that I can manage to dig up I can use it uh, I can use the stone tools uh, as long as they are equal or lesser value than stone. So, like, for instance, Tinker's Construct tools that uh, are beyond Tier 1 or Level 1 or whatever, I can't use those. Uh, but as long as it can dig iron, that's, that's pretty much all the requirement that there is for this. Uh, I can... F any stuff that I find in loot chests... That is beyond my current stage. I can use it if I want. I just can't repair it. Uh, with the exception of things like portal guns. And things like that. And gravity guns and whatnot. Uh, I probably will avoid using them. But unless it seems fitting. I, I, I'm just going to probably leave them. In the. Uh, the, the not the armory. The uh, What was the name for the, the storage. Whatever the storage room here in the the community center is uh let's see here i can now dig down and travel down to y of 30. Uh, it's no longer measured as a, a depth below the surface it is now just flat out i can't go below y30 unless i am in a ravine that is open to the air that drops below that level uh, and any time that I'm in that ravine, I just can't go under an overhang that would put me below some sort of terrain that is under level 30. Um, I can, if I am down digging around and I find some sort of tracks or minecarts, I can grab them and I can use them. Uh, w with the exception of being limited to... Uh, any real craft work carts, the the ones with the crafting tables, uh, vanilla mine carts, furnace carts, and chest carts. Uh, I can use coke ovens and get the Tinker's Construct smeltery going with that, because now that I can smelt the seared bricks and all that, I can get that going. Uh, 
Uh, I can use a manual grinder to grind up any ores that I get. I just can't use the ores just yet. Uh, however, I, I may, if I find lapis or something, I may use that. However, that dye tree is probably going to provide me all the blue I'll ever need. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, I went way too far. Um, I can, if I feel it's necessary or, or fitting, I can uh, upgrade or renovate the buildings that I already have. And I may do that, especially for the, uh, the community center and my house and maybe one or two of the elders' houses. I may upgrade them, but... As far as everything else, it doesn't need to be upgraded from wood to stone. It, it can if you, if I want. Uh, also, starting at this stage, I'm going to start doing the multi-story structures and buildings and whatnot. Uh, no longer am I going to restrict myself personally to one-story buildings. So uh, I will have a little bit more vertical space to work, work with. Uh, I'm not going to go extravagant with it just yet, but uh, I am at least going to start building up. All right, the different things that I'm going to need for this uh, level, and each of these different little ticks are going to have a lot more detail uh, with them. I'm just putting in the highlights of what I'm going to need for each one. Uh, for the residential, first off, the player estate, my house. Uh, I need to actually start working on the personal mine, get that going. I need to add one to two guest rooms. I need to add a library, a formal dining area, servants' quarters, and the servants will be a gardener, butler, one or two maids, and personal security of some sort. I may have the uh, servants' quarters outside of the main building, like in a separate, like, outside guest house or something. I don't know. Uh, the garden, well, I already did that, so I'm labeling that as done. Uh, the air sh airship dock and landing area, I I like steampunk, I do, uh, and I am probably going to, for one of my outliers, have a floating city, but I don't know how easy it is going to be for me to work into the the the, the existing city, the uh, the feel of hot air balloons or zeppelins. I, I don't know. I might. I probably will at least set up an area like some sort of uh, airy so I can have a, a landing area for a, some sort of hot air balloon. And who knows, maybe I'll build some sort of hot air balloon. In this current version of the mod pack, I'm not saying any future version won't, but in this current version there aren't any hot air balloons or zeppelins or anything like that. No airships. Um, and that may change in the future, but right now there just simply aren't. So I'm not going to, uh, necessarily focus on that, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I will need two to three additional rooms. I will figure what those are, uh, as I move along. I, d I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. I am, of course, going to continue allowing the the wild horse to just wander around in that hallway because I think it's hilarious and I like it. Um, all right, Hamlet Elder Houses. I will need one to three of those. I'll probably go with three. Uh, they will need master bedroom, guest bedroom, workroom, storage room, kitchen, office, an elder specialty room if the elders are going to specialize in things, which I think in this stage I'm going to start divvying up the different specializations to the elders. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it for all of them or just most of them or what, but we'll find out. Uh, and each uh, elder house needs an additional two to three rooms. Uh, the existing elder houses that I have, I may bump up to two-story buildings. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. If not, then I'm probably just going to leave them as is uh but we'll, we'll we'll see uh i will also need to add six to ten hamlet huts i'm going to add those to the cheap area uh they'll need a bedroom workroom storage room kitchen one to two additional rooms uh, really simple 
And they don't necessarily have to be made of stone, but I may just go ahead and do that. All right, as far as agriculture is concerned, the ranch hands and farm hands uh, that are, are a possible addition to the farms and ranches, uh, I, I may do that. If so, then I will be adding bunkhouses for them. They, the bunkhouses can hold multiple ranch hands if necessary, but because I don't have a bucket and can't really expand my farms really all that much, I am kind of limited to what I'm able to do. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. If I find a bucket, awesome. And I may decide to actually go diving into that one uh, roguelike dungeon just a little bit. And then, who knows, maybe I'll find a bucket and a saddle. And if so, then cool, I can start expanding uh, two things that I have not been able to work on. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be making at least one of either a windmill or a water mill or both. Uh, maybe more than one of each of those. They will be for, for grinding flour, basically, uh, and also aesthetics. And I may include some sort of farmland around them in the future if I can manage to get some water uh, transported to them, but never know yet. Uh, granary, I think I'm going to use the granaries that come with the farmhouses as, as I have already started working on them. Um, I, I really don't see a need to have two separate food storage places for each type of food in in the main city. Now, if I'm going to have, say for instance, an outlier city dedicated to farming, which I probably will, I may just have an area in near or in the capital city uh, set aside as a granary to ha basically house some of the uh, development from the other outliers, but for right now, I think I'm going to do the granaries as a per farm basis. Just what I, I have already begun. I may expand the ones that I have, but yeah, as far as growing them or, or building additional granaries, it doesn't see, feel like it is useful at, at this stage anyway. Uh, we'll see. All right. I already decided on making a, a fisherman's hut and uh, a fish area, so that's done. So the only thing I need... Hold on. Huh. Sorry about that. Had a bit of a coughing fit. I'm still getting over a sore throat kind of thing. Uh, I already built the fisherman's area, so what I'm going to need to do to add to that is make a fisherman's houseboat, which... Should be kind of interesting. I'll probably put it somewhere right next to where the fisherman's house is. Maybe a little bit off to the left when looking at the water from the road. Uh, barns. Uh, another thing that they don't really quite feel applicable for serendipity itself. Uh, even where I have the ranches outside of the main town proper, it, I don't know, barns just don't feel right. So I think I'm going to just continue using pens, and if, if I, if it turns out that I feel that barns are going to be applicable, I will build them. But for right now, they're just kind of tentative. Uh, stable, if, I can get saddles, I will set aside an area for a stable, and, and I will move it from the current elder's house, uh, probably down to where the ranches are. But that's going to pivot on whether or not I get a saddle. Uh, the kennel, I'm going to probably move that to the outskirts as well, and have a kennel master set aside for that, and, and the elder's house by which the kennel already exists. I will do something else with that, maybe tear down that kennel 
or maybe, I don't know, keep that and have a secondary expanded kennel for dogs and cats. I don't know. But I am going to have to at least move the kennel, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a little bit out. I am going to have to start pursuing uh, beekeeping. So I'm going to set up an apiarist place. And there's a bunch of details with that that uh, I'm not going to add little bullets for this outline here. The lumberjacks. The existing lumberjack shacks that I have, I'm going to probably turn those into elders houses. And I'm going to move the lumberjack area, the, the, the tree growing area, outside of town. That way, that is no longer occupying precious uh, land space inside where I, I need to actually be growing my city. So I'll be moving that out and expand what I'm going to be growing. One other thing about the uh, agriculture, colored sheep. Uh, one of the challenges to have one of each of the, or, or separate the sheep into different colors. And since I have access to all the colors, why not just make one of each pen for each of the sheep? Why not? So I'm going to probably go ahead and get working on that. Uh, commercial. I'm going to need to move the armory outside of here, the, uh, the, the town center where I am, uh, the community center, and uh, move that to some sort of barracks that it, this falls under the category of things that aren't really heavily covered in, in the challenge webpage. It's kind of just skirted around a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to have to pick and pull from different pages in here to get more information. Hold on, another coughing fit. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'm going to have to go through the whole bunch of web pages and figure out how, how I'm going to have the barracks set up and all that. But I'll figure that out behind the scenes. Uh, that's a typo right there move that over to there. Alright. Uh, the additional elders are going to need offices here. Uh, the infirmary is going to stay as it is and, and and just keep the same number of beds it has. But then there's also going to need to be a hospital, a separate building, which can uh, house one half of the town population. And the head doctor is going to be one of the elders. So I'm going to designate one of the existing or additional elders as the head doctor. I need to add two floors to the Tribulation Tower. I'm going to need to start a Hamlet Mine in addition to my own personal mine. Uh, I'm going to need to set a marketplace. And the marketplace is going to be where the existing tree farm is. I've decided that's a great spot for it. Uh, I'm going to need an inn with at least 12 rooms. Uh, dining area, and a bar, and a kitchen, uh, and two to four additional communi community buildings. Uh, then there's the transportation. The roads are going to need to be too wide, and I'm going to make them solid. Uh, and I might go with paths between buildings, and then uh, those, those, those paths I, I demonstrated earlier. Uh, and then gravel or gravel stone, gravel blocks or whatever for uh, the main roads. Uh, I may use wooden rails and, and build them if I can. I, I, I need to look that up, but that will be something uh, for later. Uh, aviation need some sort of landing area, uh, landing zone for hot air balloons and zeppelins and whatnot and possibly an airstrip in the future especially if this mod pack updates to something that uses one of the mods that allows you to fly using a ship that would be kind of cool uh when the challenges connect all the major buildings with underground tunnels all the elders houses my house all the community buildings well all the main ones anyway with underground tunnels i am going to pursue that in this stage uh Probably going to build a second dock. I may make the 
dock a little bit f well see I have the one gigantic ship just sitting there so I don't know if I since the city itself isn't really a waterfront city per se maybe I will hold off on a second dock until I get an outlier that has its own dock capabilities we'll, we'll see but I'll probably just build a second dock. It won't be huge. Uh, I am going to more than likely set up an area coated with wool. So if I'm taking an actual Minecraft boat, I don't run into walls and break the boat when I land. Um, fortification. The main brunt of the city is going to need to be surrounded by a too deep, four high wall all the way around and spider proof meaning that little lip so spider can't climb up one side and get in uh, it's going to have to be well lit all the way around on both sides inside and outside and have at least two entrances in and out of the town i'll probably go let's see here probably go with four or five and additionally uh, I will need to add, I forgot to include this, um, probably two more watch towers, uh, along the wall there, and, and with the exception of the watch tower that's way out towards the roguelike dungeon, I'm going to be having the existing watch towers included in the, the the wall who knows maybe i'll i'll build the wall all the way around out there all the way around the lake M maybe i will who knows we'll f we'll see i should have plenty of resources coming in in this stage anyway uh and then finally i need to start work on an outlier uh, i'm going to probably build at the uh place where i saw next to the village where I was doing the growing for the dirt hovel stage. Uh, and it just needs to start off with one to three basic dirt hovels if I want. But I'll probably make them wood or stone or whatever. Uh, and, and get the next city going. It will not be the capital city, city. It will be something else. I'll figure out a name for it. Who knows. But that is what is coming in this stage. I'll probably be... Uh, adding a few more details to this list uh, as I go along, especially if I uh, have missed something, like there's information on another page that applies, it just wasn't on this page or something, who knows. Uh, but for right now, this is basically the gist of what's going to be happening over the next couple of months with this uh, series. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut off here. Thank you very much for watching. I know I didn't get much done building wise or anything uh, in in this stage but or in this episode but uh, uh, at least now I know and have written down the stuff that I, I need to pursue here and uh, it will uh, be included in the uh, description below as well I'll go ahead and try to find wherever this is on my hard drive and copy this information over uh, to the descriptions so it can be followed along with. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Uh, also, I will be leaving a link to the Refugee to Regent Challenge wiki page so you can see what it is exactly that I'm doing. I'm, I'll be including as much information as I can cram into here as I can, but if you want to follow along or, or go ahead and see what's coming in the future or start the challenge yourself, I'll be providing a link for you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out here and give my voice a rest. So thank you very much for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.